Hello there. Today I am going to show you how to create patterns for internal Windows kernel functions. Internal kernel functions are functions that are not exported by the driver. First we need to find the function itself. This can be easily done with tools like IDA or Ghidra. You can even use the free version of IDA for this task. I made two videos on this topic. In the first one I show you how to do it in IDA. The second video shows you the same process but with Ghidra. The link will be in the description of the video. Ok with this out of the way, let's start by running IDA in administrator mode. In this tutorial we will create a pattern for the function GRE get BK color which is located in win32k full dot sys. Now we are in the IDA quick start window, press on disassemble a new file. This will open an explorer window. You will have to go to the location of the file and then press open. Just press OK in the load a new file window. And now be careful not to miss this step. A small window will pop up asking if we want to download the PDB associated with the file from the Microsoft servers. Click on yes. A PDB file is a program database filled with debug information. This will make it much easier to find the function we are searching for, because the function names are visible when we use it. Now some warning messages will pop up. Don't worry this is happening because I use the free version of IDA right now. Just simply ignore them and press OK. IDA will start to analyze the driver now. It is a good practice to wait until the light in the left top corner will become green. This means that IDA finished analyzing the driver. Open the Options tab and click on General. Under the option, Number of Upcode Bytes, insert the number 10 in the input. Now we head to the Functions window and right click on it, and then we press Quick Filter. Then simply write the name of the function you are searching for in the text input. Then double click on it. This will show us the function in the IDA view. A. Now, click on the name of the function and then hit X on your keyboard. This will open the XREF window. Double click on the XREF that calls our function. Now we need to create the pattern. It is best to use wildcards for addresses and functions. I am going to do this by hand so it is easier to follow how I made the pattern. As you can see I select 16 bytes and copy them into notepad++. Then I remove the assembly instructions until only the bytes are left. Ok now. I replace the bytes of the functions with wildcards. As you can see E8 is the assembly instruction call. Beware I use only one question mark per byte. The last step is to check if our pattern is unique in the driver. This is very important so always do it. After creating a pattern, to do this copy our pattern, then open the search tab in IDA and click on sequence of bytes. Paste our pattern into the input, and don't forget to toggle the checkbox called Find all occurrences, after doing both click on OK. A window will open and show all the occurrences in a list. If there is only one you are done. However if you find more than one you have to increase the size of the pattern. Wonderful. Now you know how to create the patterns. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw I would appreciate if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Have a great rest of your day.